how to fulfill orders on CJ dropshipping and eBay. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can fulfill your orders within dropshipping that, and these orders are coming from eBay. This is really easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit cjdropshipping.com. Then you are going to create an account within that platform. After you have set your account, as you can see, we have connected or signed in to our account already. So within this set, we are going to visit eBay. Within eBay also, you will need to open up an account. And after you have did that, and it is very easy by the way, you are going to click on sell. And right there, make sure that you have the eligibility to make some uh, purchases and also some sellings. Here we have the option to click and list an item. Now we are going to see if everything is okay and our store is eligible. Now once you have set everything right there, we need to go back to CJ Dropshipping. And the first thing that we need to do is to connect our uh, dropshipping uh, here account from CJ to our eBay store. How to do that? Simply extend this menu or this bar right there and here scroll down until you will see authorization. Within authorization you have a list of shops and normally these shops can be extended and also connected to CJ dropshipping. And as you can see we have Shopify, eBay, Aliexpress and a numerous number of the uh, stores. So the most important one in this case or in this video is eBay. So we are going to click on eBay and then we are going to connect our store. Normally I have connected before my eBay account. So I am going to delete it right there and I am going to do it again within this uh, sake of the video. So here we have the store deleted. I'm going to click on add store. Right there, we are going to add our eBay store. It will go ahead and redirect us to the eBay. And here we have just uh, a problem within the connection because I have made a mistake by deleting it and um, instantly adding a new store. So we are going to proceed to this process even more once. Once you have connected your eBay store right there, it is very easy. All you have to do is to set the email of the eBay account, also the password, and you will be good to go. Now we have the uh, CJ dropshipping also eBay connected. Let's say that it is connected already. You have so how can this connection be? Now the thing that you need to do is to go ahead and select a product to list it. And how you can do that is very simple. Go ahead right there and get a product. Now back to the authorization. As you can read right here, authorize your store to activate click or one click product listing and automatic order fulfillment. So logically after you have read this sentence, the orders will be fulfilled automatically. So I'm going to add again and try to access my eBay account. Here we have it. So we are going to grant the application access to eBay. Here read everything right there and then you are going to uh, authorize it. And here we have the authorization is successful. Now we can go ahead and fulfill our store orders can list CJ products on your store and also you can connect your products on CJ dropshipping. Now I'm going to open up a new window which is finding a product. Let's go ahead and list a product. So we are going to see how we can do that. Now back to our eBay account. When you click on sell here, I am going to let you see something that is very important. You're going to scroll down a little bit onto your eBay account. And as you can see, you can list up to 250 items for free every month. Right there, it is the limitation. So we cannot upload or list an item that has a lot of inventories, for example, or has a lot of stock on the inventory. I'm going to choose a product. 
So we are going to select any of these product or you can make a search for your product. I'm going to select any of these product, but I highly recommend you to make your own research about that product. It has to be trendy and also it has to be very high sell or selling. For example, this plant or this one is very demanded. I have seen some ads before to this product and I see it very interesting. The video is set and also is very, very consuming time and we have a lot of options. So how we can do that is to add to the product to my products. Once it is added, we are going to list it. Click on list and right there, we can go ahead and see the store selection. We can modify the product type, the title, the description, etc. from this one. So for the store selection, we have a drop down menu. As you can see, I have two options. I have the Shopify account that I have created. Also, I have the eBay account. I'm going to let the eBay and please make sure the total quantity of the product list does not exceed the listing limit on eBay which is 250. How to increase the listing quantity on eBay? Here is a tip or an article from CJ Dropshipping itself. You can go ahead and set that. Now you can read these formalities and also these documents. Now we have the, as you can see, the listing site, which is uh, United States or UK. I'm going to use the UK, for example. Here we have the title. You can select the category, the payment method, right here, managed payment by Pioneer or select the PayPal. We have the shipping method right here on eBay. Select all of these shipping method and for the brand, you can set a brand right there. Now for the tags, you can add a tag to the product. For example, plan and watering like that. So. When you finish this, you're going to see the variant pricing. Here we have the shipping from, it is no more option. It is very standard and also it is frozen. We have ship my order most to here use the, um, the shipping location that you want to. The shipping method, it is CJ packet or one of these. Let's choose it carefully. Now for the bulk revise, here we are going to set the uh, the price change so right there i'm going to set a price of let's say here a price of um 30 30 dollar maybe i'm going to list it on bulk is lower so we are going to set right there a price of 65 it is okay it is lower than i'm going to set it to 70 maybe how is that? I'm going to set it for 150 maybe. Is lower, how is that possible? Yeah, I don't care about that. We're going to change the listing to 100. And also for the quantity, you are going to set it uh, for that. I'm going to see right there, here. Now we are going to set something of the quantity. Right there, I'm going to put 10 or maybe put it 10 like that or I'm going to put just five for every every product right there we have only five now we're going to see right there we have it so we're going to set everything right there for the list of 50 it doesn't matter now when you have visited this I'm going to visit the images and videos Select the images and also the videos. Right there we have a lot to select. And also we have a limitation of I think 10 images. When you finish that, you are going to seek for the description. See right there we have the overview. We have the images and also the same from CJ Dropshipping. Right here we have a lot of options. Also, it is very organized. When you finish that, you are going to click on list it now. Right there, it will take some few seconds or few minutes to list that product directly to your eBay account. Here we have the listing field because of the 
uh, product or the quantity of that product. So we need to regulate that within this article. You should go ahead and use it and set the settings from here. And when you finish, you're going to set that product. If you finish that product or setting that product and or if you are not able to do that, you can make it right there uh, manually. When you finish that product manually, you are going to see the same product and just connect it right here. Click on connect and it will upload the product from the eBay store. Right here it has the product and we have a lot of uh, products that have been set. We're going to click on connect and pin it. For example, we have this. Let's say that it is the same product. This is for my Shopify store. We're going to pin it and then you are going to click on connect and then you are going to select the variation and confirm. After you have set that, it is very easy to proceed to the fulfillment. Now, let's say that we have a uh, order from our Shopify or our eBay store. So we are going to head over CJ dropshipping. Normally the uh, order will be set and you will be seeing that order right here on the store orders. Click on store orders and normally you will see that order right there and waiting for the fulfillment. Now let's wait right there and here we have it. Now no order has been set so you can add to orders picking. You can add or any any of these orders or you can select or create manual orders like that. If you have an Excel or a CSV file, you can import it. For example, I have a manual order. Let's go ahead and add any of these products. This is the smart planter. I'm going to select it and I am going to click on add. Right there, it is added. So what are we going to do right there is to click on the cart right here or the shopping bag. And then we are going to deselect all of the inconvenient orders that we have right there. I only need one of these. So there is a lot of options set right there for the, uh, the order. As you can see, we only need one. So I will delete all of these and let this one click on next. And when you finish this, you are going to set the number of the order. For example, number one, the address, city, province or state, phone number, Shipping method, it is automatically set. The store name, you are going to put the store name right there of your eBay account. And then we are going to proceed to the other steps. Consigny, address to the country that you are going to set or to send. Postcode, shipping form, email and store type. All of these information are going to be available within your order right here from eBay. When you finish that, you are going to confirm all of these informations. For that, you are going to proceed to the fulfillment and you can see here the fulfillment status. Now we have the order, it will be mentioned right there and the status of the fulfillment. It will be automatically set and fulfilled within CJ Dropshipping, Furniture or also the uh, sourcing. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.